Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to My Porch Prints. And today we're going to be talking about how to make stickers using Design Space and Cricut. So the first thing you want to do is open up Design Space and go up to New Project up in the corner and click that. And then you're going to want to upload your image and you'll need um, JPEG files or a similar file for this. And I'm going to go ahead and just browse for my image. Okay, and once you have your image, I'm going to go ahead and choose Complex, Continue. And then what you want to do is select the white background. Down here you can see you've got options to erase. And then you've got Select. So we're going to select the white background to get rid of that. And then we're going to go ahead and erase just any other white space we don't want, like inside the keyholes of this image and your image may be different. And you can zoom in down here and get a little closer so you can select smaller spaces and just get rid of any white space that you don't want. I'm gonna fast forward here. And then I want to erase this picture at the bottom. So I'm gonna choose erase and then up my eraser size. And I'm gonna go ahead and erase this too. That way I'm not printing and cutting anything that you know is extra. Okay, and then apply and continue. And then I'm going to choose print and cut and upload. All right, then I want to select the image that we created and add it to the canvas. And it's going to be kind of big at first. We're going to drag it up to the corner here and we're going to go look at these sizes and uh, you want to lock this in place so that it will evenly change your size. And then go ahead and resize it to what you want. And over here, you'll see this exclamation point. That means that you're too large. So you'll need to um, shrink your image just a little bit to fit the cutting space. There we go. And then that exclamation point disappears. And you can make it really small or bigger. It's, you know, totally depends on what size you want for your project. Then click make it. And then you can see what it's going to look like on the canvas here. And that looks right. So I'm going to hit continue. And then send to printer. And you, I, I usually, um, you can choose your printer and preferences. I usually take away the bleed just because I don't want it added to my picture. And a bleed is just like an outline it'll add around your images. Okay, so I have my print or my Cricut set to custom and that's gonna give me some options here and I'm gonna choose sticky note. Um, if you don't have that highlighted, you can go into your options and scroll down till you find it or a similar setting. I like sticky note because it gives me what's called a kiss cut. And that means that you can peel your stickers off without them being completely cut off. So they'll stay on the sheet and you can just peel them off the sheet. Okay, so choose your option that you want, which is sticky note for me. And then we're going to load sticker paper into the printer. This is vinyl sticker paper. Uh, I'll put a link down to the kind that I use below. And then it's going to print that out for you. And you'll want to stick it on your mat. <laughs> My mat's pretty uh, well loved. You can see it's been used a few times. But go ahead and just stick your uh, printout up into the corner of your mat. Make sure it's right side up. And then put it under the guides in your uh, Cricut machine. Just like that. And then you'll want to click the uh, blinking button. And that'll load it. And then you'll want to click the Cricut button and that's going to start it cutting. And if it goes in crooked and you don't like the way it's looking, you can press that blinking arrow button again and that'll uh, unload it for you and you can start over. Okay, and now it's going to go ahead and cut. And right now it's just finding the edges. The sensor needs to know where the edges are, so you have to wait for that. And when it's all done finding the edges, which takes a little while, it'll start the cut. And it may look like it's not cutting on the line when you look at it, but um, if you look close, it usually is. 
Sometimes it just uh, appears to be cutting off to the side, but it's not. And you can see I selected all the little circles, so it's going to go cut all of those out for us. Okay, and once it's done, you just press that blinking button to unload it. And then I like to flip it over and peel my stickers off. That keeps them from curling. So I curl the mat, not the paper. Okay, and that just gives us these cute little kiss cut stickers. And these are our faux hardware stickers. They're uh, or, uh, printable. They're available in our Etsy shop, My Porch Prints on Etsy. And we'll put a link down below for you. And there you go. You can kind of see how we use our stickers in our projects. And it's just a fun little uh, way to make stickers on your Cricut machine. You can do this with just about any JPEG images. And if you've got a PDF you want to convert, I'll add a link down below for that as well for some um, convert PDF to JPEG websites for you. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.